Hi folks, I'm going to show you how to make something quick and easy if you're a bachelor. That's bread and that is, no it's not what you think it is, it is kielbasa sausage or kielbasa sausage. Four slices of white bread and some mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to grade this cheese, I'm going to grade it as B+. Plus. Uh, but I've also going to shave it, uh, scratch it, that's it. Uh, rub it on this thing so I get little tiny little pieces. Okay, and it's mozzarella cheese so it's uh, kind of rubbery, so it's difficult. Um, if I had a uh, you know large pair of ice grips I would probably use that instead of my fingers uh, or perhaps I need to invent something so this is not so difficult. But anyway, we'll just keep doing that and uh, get all the pieces uh, shaved as much as we can. Actually, that's where the term grated comes in, doesn't it? Grade the cheese. And um, if you have a kitty cat like I do, Steve. you gotta give him a chunk. Steve. Make sure that the cheese is okay. He doesn't, uh, you know, fall over and croak after you give them some cheese. What an awful thought. So we want to grade this some more. Uh, Smoosh it in there. Uh, up. I guess that's good enough. A um, little bit more. A little bit more. Ouch. You know, see this is where, it can't, where it's dangerous. I think you need a pair of work gloves when you're using these old-fashioned manual cheese graters. So um, I guess you gotta, you know, put that in the sink, right? Uh, you know, because you don't want the uh, thing around the house all dirty like that. Uh, so you get your slices of bread and you cover your slices of bread, two slices at this point, with the grated mozzarella cheese. And uh, we do both slices like that. This is very simple, like you can fancy this up a little bit, but I'm going to keep it simple. Um, oh, you could use, uh, you know, things like black olives, uh, green peppers, you know, anything. What the heck is that in there? Anyway, uh, so you take your uh, your uh, donkey pin no, it, uh, your kielbasa sausage, kielbasa, kielbasa sausage. I'm using kielbasa sausage because that's what I had in the fridge, but I mean you could use pepperoni, you could use um, summer sausage, you could use, I don't know, ham, bacon. No, not bacon because then you'd have to cook the bacon. That would be too much work. Uh, I suppose you could. Steve. And then you've got to, you know, Sure. Give your cat some of this too, because that way you keep him out of your way, you know, you're not tripping sure. over him. He'll go and hide somewhere and, and enjoy his uh, little treat there. So then you put this on your slices of bread, just like you would be, you know, putting pizza toppings on. Uh, so anyway, this is kind of self-explanatory. And then you put the other piece on top. So you've basically made a cheese and kielbasa sandwich. Uh, well, that's what it is, but this is a special one. Uh, just wait and see, plenty of surprises. Uh, you're probably noticing that jar to the right. That is marinara sauce. Really, really good marinara sauce too from Mason Jar. Like a homemade style marinara sauce. Actually, President's Choice marinara sauce, uh, if you're, you know, from Ontario or I guess anywhere in Canada, I mean, it's a Loblaws product. In this area where I live, uh, you get it at Zares, you get it at No Frills, uh, a few other places. Uh, it's really, really tasty. So, uh, you've noticed I put it in a cup or a mug. Um, just wait, what am I doing now? Not sure, zap that in the microwave. I hope you didn't notice the filth inside my microwave. But. So what we want to do is heat that up for a minute and then we put our cheese and kielbasa sandwiches, that's what they are right now, cold sandwiches, in our sandwich press. These things are really cheap. I actually got this one free, and I'm not going to tell you how. So we do that. Put it on nice. Make sure it's nice and even in there so it's not busting out the sides. The microwave indicating that uh, our uh, marinara sauce is hot. Okay, and there. Look what we have here. See that? Isn't that wonderful? We have basically 
sandwich triangles. Uh, nice and brown, still hot. Don't do that with your fingers. You gotta get a fork or something. And uh, try and get it up without the thing uh, falling apart. Usually they come out pretty nicely, uh, you know, depending on the quality of the bread, I suppose. Uh, this was cheap bread, so that was probably more difficult than it normally would be. So, anyway, there we have it. We bring it to the table, and there we have our little triangle cheese and kielbasa hot sandwiches. Now it's, uh, it's starting to look like a calzone or something, or a panzerotti. And what we do is we crush it down like that. And here, here, listen how crispy that is, right? Now we cover it up with the marinara, the hot marinara sauce. And now we have a wonderful meal, quick and easy. And boy, oh boy, is it good. You would not believe it. Like, like I said, you can add different things. You can put in, you can even put anchovies in there if you like, if you're, you know, an anchovy lover. Oh, mm. yes, very good. Let's, uh, oh, no, 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 that's probably not something, I wouldn't recommend doing that, you know, like spilling it on the table and then uh, scooping it up with sort of a, yeah, and there, this is what we have, look, 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 isn't that something, mmm, cheesy, now this mozzarella cheese probably isn't the best quality because you notice it's not, uh, it doesn't have legs, you know, like uh, mm. pizza, mozzarella mm. cheese, mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm enjoying this. Def mm. Definitely the best Steve Verotti. Steve Verotti. That's what I've named this a Steve Verotti after my cat Steve. Um, it's to honor Steve the cat. And I'm just kind of babbling here. This is, mmm, yep. Uh, it even looks good. I remember this. This was, you know, just moments ago. I was enjoying this 